this is the thing, right? Like I've been hit by by Spence a lot. I've been hit by Ennis to know that when Ennis touched me, he didn't drop me, but when he hit me, I was like, oh boy, Ennis' power is even more than Spence's power. I'll tell you that. Wow. Oh, I tell you that hundred percent. I said that from from after the fight. I said, I got so when 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 Ennis hit me, I got a little scared in the sense of like, oh damn, this is different different power. It's surprising to hear. You say that Ennis actually has a more stinging punch than Spence. Can you describe that? Man, look, Spence is Spence is technically just a clean fighter, right? Spence is nice, bomb the jab, the cross, whatever. It's it's eighty percent. It stings. It's it's numb power. It's like this. Ennis is is wild. Like Ennis jumps in. He's ferocious. He's wild. And and when he hit me. The moment he hit me, even if it was my arm, I was like, my, a red light went on. I was like, oh, oh, this is why this guy hits, knocks out everyone. I was like, he's got power. I said, the boy's got power. And the thing that went into my head immediately in that round was, oh, he hits harder than Spence. I see. I was like, I was like, I took Spence's power. I was, I knew Spence had a what? A, 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 oh, I think a 90% knockout ratio when, when I fought him. So, so it was always alarming. And when Spence hit me, I I respected his power, but I was like, oh, wait, this is not enough power. Like, he doesn't have the power to single-handedly knock me out. I wasn't aware of that. And, and the fight went eight rounds, and I went out on my feet. When when Ennis hit me, immediately my mind went to, oh, shit, I got I to gotta keep my hands up because this kid could knock me out with one punch. It's it's He's got power, man. He's got power. He's real power. Yo, based both on that, of them. Both, both of them, them got real power, yeah. but Ennis... It is does 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 make a noise, man. Based on that, do you think Ennis beats Spence in, in a in a fight? Right now, no, no. Why not? Why why am I saying right now not? And I and then we cannot say that Ennis is still up and coming. Ennis has got almost thirty fights. He's not a he's not a baby anymore. Ennis is a real fighter now. But I think technically sounded, basically the one two the dynamic of the of the of the the basics. Spence does so well. His defense is good. His hits beautiful. And as I feel, is a little bit wild. And is a little bit wild. And a guy like Spence, that's such an elite level fighter, he's gonna make you pay if you will, if you wild. And uh, I feel because of that, and and then and experience. Spence has fought the names, the the bigger names, the better names, the better opponents. And because of that, I'm backing Spence to beat Ennis. Not not knock him out though. Nah, I don't think he will knock him out. I think I think just Spence beats him at the moment. And what about against Terence Crawford? Uh, they, they've talking about it. Spence. Hopefully, it gets made. <laughs> You're picking Spence yeah, also. You know, the first, you know, I got Spence again. I got Spence again, and I'm not a fan favorite yet. But but again, I met I met I fought Spence. I stood in front of him. He's a big boy. He's got dangerous power. He's a natural 147 fighter. Maybe a middleweight. He's a natural middleweight. He's a big boy. Terence is a what? A one thirty pounder, a one thirty five pounder. Thirty five. Coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up. And then I stood in front of Terence, and he's very small. He's very small compared to Spence. Um, basic, basic, stronger, better fighter for me. Spence, the more athletic, the more skilled Terence Crawford. But could Terence Crawford handle Spence's power? Round one, round two, maybe yes, round three. But when he fought Lamont Peterson, when when Spence fought Lamont Peterson, a lot of people said this and that. I said, look here. I said, I fought Spence. He breaks you down. He breaks you down. Round one, round two, round three. You might think you could handle his power. But you get to round six and your legs are gone because the boy just breaks you down. And that's when he fought Lamont Peterson. It showed again. They were like, yeah, but Lamont moves well. I said, believe me, Spence is going to touch that body, body, body. And he's going to stop moving. And that's what happened. And he broke him down. Now, who do I favor? I do favor slightly Spence because he's the bigger, natural, 147-pounder. Um, but Terrence being the more athletic, skilled fighter, it could make for a good fight. But I'm still backing Spence to beat him. Do you think he eventually breaks him down and stops him, given you what see, you said? That's, I that's, that's what he will have to do. That's what he will have to do. He will have to break him down. The Tico, the referee stops the fight. That's what he would have to do. So I would lean toward a late round stoppage. 
Yeah, you know, I, I just keep thinking like the the work rate of Spence once he gets going. Oh, like that's it. Amazing. I mean, yeah. Once he tags you, once he finds his rhythm and he's figured you out, then he tags you. He tags you and he tags you and it, and he just gets stronger around by round. He just keeps piling. And and yeah, it, it, it adds up. Um, Spence. Yeah, uh, on the flip side, I think, you know, uh, Crawford fans would say like, well, you may be right on that, but there is a lot of opportunity there for Crawford to counterpunch uh, Spence. And because Crawford's so technical, and if he gets those clean punches on Spence, hey, there's a chance he might catch him with something big. These, they, they're not wrong, though. They're not wrong. They're not wrong. But I do feel you know, Spence has got a tight defense. He's very smart. Um, just gets better and better. Um Hey, it's two elite welterweights. It's two of the best welterweights in the division. I mean, one is going to make a mistake and and he's going to pay. But I still favor Spence. Hey, Chris, you know, what else is going on with you, man? Uh, you last fought in well, April well, against, man, you know what? I'm back, against I'm, Connor. I'm back, I'm back so, in the gym. I'm back yeah. in the gym. You know, if, uh, you know I, I know I still have fight in me. I know I still have fight in me. I'm back in the gym. Um just hoping for an opportunity again. I, I had a big break to get against Conor Ben. It didn't go my way. Now it is bringing so much more suspicion on it. And then I want, to, you know, people say, yeah, but you lost. Who do I lost to? I could have easily, I'm telling you right now, I could have easily been 30-0, 32-0. I could have been 32-0. But I've lost to Spence and I've lost to Conor Ben. I've beaten a lot of names. Who did you beat? Okay, well, I, I, I beat... Matthew Atkin, that just lost to Canelo. Then I beat him. I beat a guy called Kaiser Mabuse that came to America, knocked out Ken Rold. Then I beat him. I beat the gold, the, the gold medalist Commonwealth champion at the time, and probably one of the favorites to be a superstar in South Africa, Bongani Mualasi, who was a gold medalist. I beat him. I beat Sebastian Lujuan. So I beat the names. Please say, who have you beaten? I beat the names. But then I've lost to who do I lose? Go look who I lost to. Spence. Conor Ben, and I got in there with Ennis. That's one thing about me, and I don't ever want anybody to say anything else about me. Yes, I might have lost, but I never say no to a fight. I mean, I know, I know, I know we should because of the business side of it, but if you're a B side, you take fights, and I don't, sh I don't shy away from fights. So, what's next for me? I hope, I hope to get another shot. I hope someone would, would, would give me another shot now that. This time with Conor Ben come, came out. I was so confident in beating Conor Ben. I'll tell you this. I've been, I've been, I was so confident that I was going to beat Conor Ben, especially after round one, because he was, I, I tagged him easily. Being inactive, keep in mind, I've been inactive for over two years. Then getting there and then start tagging in Conor Ben in round one. I was like, man, wait till I get my rhythm. Just give me two or three rounds. Let's let the nerves settle down. Once I get my rhythm and my movement and my speed, I was like so confident, so confident that tonight's my night and I'm going to beat Conor Ben and I'll be back on the map. And then, you know, look okay, at one punch, two pound, that's boxing. But um, I still have fight in me. I, I still have so much fight in me. And I still I see it. I spar with some some undefeated guys here in, in California. And I, I still have it. So what is next for me? I am just hoping to get another shot, man. I'm still in it. I, I'm still in this fight. Maybe a Sergey Lipinet. I, I've sparred Sergey. I love Sergey. He's a he's a warrior. But I'd like I'd, I'd fancy a fight against Sergey. Um, there's still names out there, you know. Luckily, my name is in the ad because I fought Spence, I fought Ennis, I fought Conor Ben, I fought some big names. So I feel like I'm gonna get another shot. Some up and coming guys gonna call me out, or or I'm gonna be looked up over again. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video, and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV, and give us a follow online as well, at Fight Up TV, on Twitter, and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.